Hello, hello, KV Core users. This is Annalisa with Inside Real Estate, and I wanted to walk through how to squeeze a landing page. So it's basically we're taking a squeeze page and we are going to use it within a landing page. So first thing we're going to do is open up, uh, of course, our dashboard and the lead engine and our squeeze page tool. And I am just going to do an overall search in the Bronx City for homes uh, that actually allow pets. And I'm just going to go ahead and generate that link real quick here and copy it. And I'm just going to check out the results real quick just by pasting it into my browser and go. So right now there are six results in the Bronx for single family homes and condos. So this is something I could perhaps market towards people who are looking to get their own place uh, for their own furry friend perhaps. And what I can do now is take the link that I created in the squeeze page, either one of these, and now I can start building my landing page. Now, when we're looking at these options here up on the left, you have different types of landing pages of which you can choose from. And this may look a little different than what you may have seen in the past. We did update this pretty recently. And what I'm going to go over today is the lead gen landing page. So I'm just going to choose this first one. And this is the default landing page that will open every time you open up your landing page generator. And if you want to pick something else, you just pick from the drop down list. Uh, the two most commonly used is the lead gen and video plus lead. And I would say the address capture and Facebook chat are, are uh, the next two that are probably used the most. All right, so let's make a lead gen landing page. Now, when we create one of these lead gen landing pages, the whole idea behind this is when you say, hey lead, when you drop in your email and or sell and click this orange button here, I'm going to supply you with information that you need right away. So they're opting in to get this information. Well, the second they click this button, the lead's going to land in your dashboard. They are going to have a hashtag attached to them if you include one here, so you can build in tracking, which then can lend them into a, a smart CRM filter for newsletters, for different types of listings, for different types of communications and so forth, and dialer list. And also, when we use this URL after login, and we send them to a link that's on our own page, on our own domain, just like this one, when they click through, when they click through, the system is automatically going to sign them in, so they're not going to be asked to sign in. So all within seconds, it's going to land on your dashboard as a new lead, tagged, they're going to be directed to a link and auto-signed in, which is pretty slick. So how do we build this? The first thing we're going to do is figure out our hashtag. So I'm just going to call this Bronx Pets. So whenever a new lead lands in my dashboard with Bronx Pets, I know there are people in the Bronx looking for a place to live with their pet. So now when I click outside of this box, that's what cements this hashtag onto this landing page. Now we can adjust our submit button text, this orange button. So this could be, uh, you know, check out, out these properties. And when you click outside the box, it cements on the orange button. Now the URL after login is where they're going to go when they click this orange button. So we need to grab our link and paste it in right here. So now we've cemented this link to this button and I'll just click outside of the box to cement it in. Now, one other thing I can do is say if I wanna require the phone number upon sign up or not, I can either check it for yes or uncheck it if I don't care. And then the last thing I can do across this top section is choose a background. Now there's many different types of backgrounds you can choose that we've actually included for you. There's like this farmhouse, uh, a living room, you know, super thoughtful lady. Uh, however, we can also drop in a couple of different backgrounds here. Now, if this landing page is for a specific listing, you can actually drop the MLS number here and when you click OK, the system is going to drop the primary image of the listing in the background. Now, because we're speaking to a result of more than one property in the Bronx for homes that accept pets, you know, properties that accept pets, uh, we can actually uh, go in and choose a custom background. 
And when we have the URL for a custom background, we can paste it here. And when we click OK, it's going to manifest that photo in the background. Now, it's super important that, of course, you follow copyright laws and make sure you own the picture or get permission to use the picture. Or you can go to uh, copyright free places like Unsplash and pull images. I am just going to go to Google and grab an image as an example here. And I'm just going to make it like a happy dog photo. Okay, so let's say this is our photo or even this fall photo, dog running. Now, what we want to do is get the URL for the actual photo, the actual JPEG. So let's see if we can get that in here. So what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to open the image on a new tab. So we can just see the image only. And I don't think this one's going to end in JPEG, but I'll, oh, it does. So if you see here at the end, it has the JPEG at the end. So when it's a link for an actual photo, we can actually copy this link, go back to our landing page, and click Background, Custom Background, and paste that link in. And now we can see the pup is playing in the leaves. So we have this top part taken care of. We've got the tracking element of the uh, hashtag. We've got the line for the orange button. We've got the link that they're going to go to when they click the button. Now we can work on the body of this. Now, I know a lot of people are like, hey, can I get rid of that, uh, that logo? So when you double click on this, you do have the ability to remove this element. However, it's super important to be aware this might not be in compliance with your MLS. So really make sure you know your rules and regs before you opt to get rid of that. Now, if you want to change anything that is in text here, all you need to do is click in and delete it and start typing. And it's the same with any line where you see text. Now myself, whenever I set up the alerts, I always set them up for daily, but of course you're going to use your own best judgment on that, but I found that to be a good pace for people. And then, you know, you can actually edit any of this information. Now, if you don't want these little bullets, all you have to do is double click to get rid of them. But just keep in mind, once you get rid of it, you're not bringing it back until you start over with your landing page. So from here, let's say I'm good to go. I know I have my tag. I've got my uh, tagline on my button. I've got my link attached. I've got my text how I want it. I'm just going to click save here on the upper right. And basically this warning is saying, hey, heads up, once you save this, it's saved. If there's no editing it. You cannot go back and edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we have this string with the uh, Annalisa Dolan, KB Core Success, Ask, and then the string of information. And this actually is going to be the link we can use to share into social media. And we can click this little green share button and share into these. So if I wanted to share into Facebook, I can actually do that via a group here. And this is the preview of what it'll look like. And we can see here that I can choose to share it to my newsfeed or a story on a super good and understanding friends timeline, perhaps. Uh, maybe I want to post it into a group of which I'm a member or an admin. Perhaps I'm going to create, maybe it's a uh, people and pets tour of the Bronx and invite people to come along to take a look at these properties and have a little tour bus. Who knows? And last but not least, we can go into a page that we manage. So it could be a business page or private message it to someone. So if I wanted to share this to a group, I can just choose the group and I'm just going to pop it into our Inside Real Estate Success Strategies group and post to Facebook. And when I click post to Facebook here, it's going to disappear. It's, its job will be done as soon as I click post to Facebook. So this pop-up is going to disappear. Now I can go back to my group. And I can see my landing page here. And then when I click on it, 
this is what the view is going to look like from the client perspective. And I'll go ahead and sign in as a contact now. And now you can see it signed me in here on the upper left when I put in my email address and it took me to those six results. And now I'll land on my dashboard as a lead for myself. So it's kind of like an Annalisa inception, but you kind of get the idea here. Uh, people sign in, they immediately land on your dashboard, they're tagged, you have a built-in list. And I hope this has been helpful for you. Have a great day.